So this is the Planable homepage, planable.io, not .com, not .ca, not .co. <laughs> so I'm going to log in. And I should already be logged in. Yes, I am, I think. There's different workspaces you can create, and we'll go over the plans and pricing after I'm done showing you the dashboard, but each different workspace um, allows a different brand. So let's say you have five different businesses you do social media for, you can create a workspace for each of those five, and it's just easier to separate things out like that. So we'll just head into mine. For the sake of this video, I only connected my Facebook and my Twitter account. And I really like Planable because it, like, visually it's pretty and it's functional as well, obviously. But I like the calendar view. That's something that I have to have when I use a social media dashboard or scheduling tool. And the list function is really great for if you want to see upcoming content that's scheduled, but not necessarily in the same month as, as what you are in now. Facebook um, for the feed because my video or my cover photo is actually a video. It doesn't actually load in here, but it's still nice to see a preview of what my Facebook page will look like and my Twitter page will look like with content uploaded on it. So we'll go ahead and make a new post. And you can see if these two are active, um, that means you're going to be posting it to both these platforms. This was kind of confusing to me at first because I was like, well, why is Twitter gr underlined green? And I had thought that that means I'm going to be posting it to only Twitter. Um, but you just have to hover over the one that's not green or the one that you don't want publishing on and click that red X. So I found this Instagram article. We'll just copy the URL. Let's say interesting API changes coming soon to Instagram, hashtag social media. Then we'll put the link in. And then it, it shows you what the link preview will look like. And this is like kind of ugly. So if I were actually going to publish this, I would go in and find a picture and replace it with the picture, but we'll just pretend that it looks great. <laughs> Here you can actually se select a custom date or if you want, you can configure a timetable and all that does is it automatically puts content into designated time slots that you set in the timetable. And you don't even have to post it or like schedule it out. You can just go hit save and then it's here there's no date and time set, so when I'm ready for this draft to go live, I can figure out what time and day I want to do it at. But for now, let's just schedule it out for 2 o'clock today. And there's different ways to go about this. So because it is a, an approval tool, um, each post has to be approved. So if I wanted to send this to someone, I would just let them know like, hey, I updated Planable. You can go in and check out the posts and I would just add them as a user here, but I'm not going to do that. And basically they would come in here and they'd be like, okay, this is what she has planned to go out at two today. Here's a note. Good job, Beverly. <laughs> Post. So then when I come back in as myself under my own username, I'll see a note where where it says, good job, Beverly, or it might be, can we change the thumbnail picture or can we remove the link and only have a video or something like that. And then once I'm done those changes, I can click approve and then this will automatically schedule it. Then you get this notification. So it's going to go out at that time in that time zone, which is correct. And then you kind of just keep going. So I'll show you what plan posts look like in the different feeds or displays. So I like Planable because there's like this huge preview. You can see that there's a comment for it and the check mark screen and this is orange. That means basically it's been approved and it's scheduled to go out. You can also view this in week. So if you have a lot of posts, you can see them in like a column and then list again. 
this is good for when you want to look at also like future content for the next month or so. So it's really simple. There's nothing like super, I don't know. It just has what you need, basically. Like it doesn't have any fancy bells and whistles and things that kind of take up space or like you're paying for something and you don't actually need it. So with that, let's look at the plans and pricing. They do have the free account. The free account, basically, you get one workspace and their starter, premium, enterprise. So if you need five workspaces, basically five different businesses or five different brands, and you do need use, and if you need other users, which is, I'm guessing that you're going to want other users just because you're doing an approval process, um, you'll get seven of them, and then you can add in unlimited pages and and you can plan out unlimited posts. That's basically it really. Like there's nothing super fancy about it. So the only thing that I don't like about Planable is that you can actually post automatically to Instagram. You have to schedule it out and then you have to download the app on your phone and it will do that copy and paste and over to Instagram like the other apps that can't connect directly to Instagram. So I'm waiting for that. I wish that they had that now. Um, I don't really use this tool as much as I used to, but it's still a tool that I still maintain an account on just because sometimes I do like using this for clients that actually require the approval, po <laughs> approval process. And if you guys want, if you do sign up for a plan, you can use my code, Hello Beverly. I'll put it down in the notes and you'll get, I think, like one or two months free. But again, this is not sponsored by Planable. And they gave me a code like Hello Beverly to give out to people. So not sponsored. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything if you use it. But feel free to use it if you do want to get a month or two free. Bye.